This is a Sports Catastrophe production. Hey there, hello there, hello there, it's Jeff Cody Dobby. Welcome to another Sports Catastrophe on the state. And on this day, June 12, 1996, the Cincinnati Reds don't have an owner anymore because Marshawn has just given up her day to day operations. Now, why? Why would the first female owner in Major League Baseball history give up her post? Did she have family problems? Did she have some type of disease? Did she just walk it on the reds? Well, if you know the name Mark Shot, you freaking know that she was a racist. So anyway, Mark Shot, before I get to the bad, I gotta get to the good. I know I did a birthday girl on her, but Mark Shot was a destroyer of all worlds, if you will. Marshot actually had some good stuff and all that. She ended up getting ownership of the Reds somehow through I hope by 1982. She was the matter she was the main person. There were some good moments for her. She would always have a normal seat at the Reds home game, sign autographs for young fans, give money to Cincinnati Children's Hospital, and even kept hot dogs for just a dollar at the time, not raising the price at all, which is amazing. Well, a dollar hot dog is something we can all dream of in 2023. <laughs> but still, she was good. The only problem is that she didn't want to spend money on scouting. She didn't want to spend money on an out-of-town scoreboard for other team, for teams to know what the other teams are doing. Of course, you know, this is before the internet and smartphones and all that. Of course, she had a lot of controversies around her. She once booted Macho Man Randy Savage from a Reds game because he was upstaging her. She would let Shotzi, her St. Bernard, free reign of Riverfront Street, including defecating on the field. And of course, you know, the dog's hair being stuck on their uniforms. Which was weird because, you know, Riverfront shared space with the Reds. I mean, with the Bengals. So anyway, Shot believed that it was a good luck charm, and during the 1990s World Series run, they would send bags. She would send bags of his hair to the team facilities, but it started to smell and all that. All right. So yeah. Anyway, there were a lot of problems and all that. So she had a lot of problems. Her first major controversy was in 1992 when a former marketing director of the Rad stated in the deposition for a employee suing the team that Shot referred to Eric Davis and Dave Parker as million dollar N words. And the, and the guy who was the team's controller said that he was fired because he testified against Shot in another lawsuit and all that. And he opposed the unwritten policy of not hiring blacks and all that. Sable technically lost his suit. However, the marketing director said that Schott kept a Nazi swastika armband at her home and claims he ever heard her say, sneaky goddamn Jews are all alike. Now remember, these are Mark Schott's words, not mine. And Schatz issued a statement saying that the claims of racism were overstated and she didn't mean to offend anyone and said that the swastika armband was a gift from a former employee. And anyway, Schott actually said that the million dollar black comment was made in jest and stated that she felt Adolf Hitler was intentionally good for Germany but did not understand how Jap could be offensive. Oh, you bitch. And all that. And then there was a rumor before a conference call that Schott said, I would never hire another N-word. And talked about a trained monkey. Now remember, these are Mark Schott's words, not mine. Schott, of course, would make statements favorable to Adolf Hitler in May 96, before she got canned, saying he was okay at the beginning, he just went too far. Yuck. 
and then Shot would speak in a cartoonish Japanese accent, describing her meeting with the Prime Minister of Japan. I didn't like Asian kids outdoing our kids in high school. Are you crazy? That's just pathetic and all that. And then in 94, of course, she got in trouble because Shot commented that she didn't want her players to wear earrings because only fruits wear earrings. Oh, of course, you know that epitaph. So the Dodgers basically had all their players wear earrings to get on Shot's case and all that. Anyway, Shot would also not retain Davy Johnson, even though he helped the Reds get to the NLCS in 95, mostly because Davy Johnson was mar was living with his girlfriend before they were married. I mean, some people have that problem. But the 96 season was just terrible for her, especially when during the 96 home opener, when the Reds played the Expos, John McSherry, who was famously overweight, called time and motioned towards the Reds' dugout for medical attention, but he collapsed and fell to the turf face first. Unfortunately, he would die an hour later. And of course, the game would be postponed until the next day. But video says that she was upset the game was postponed, saying, Snow this morning and now this? I don't believe it. I feel cheated. This is our tradition. Shot said she was standing up for the fans, but the critics saw her comments of being insensitive, and I think the fans would have understood. Shot actually gave a bouquet of flowers to the umpires in general, but they were but she regifted them. And all that. Shot tried to fix the problem, but failed. So yeah, so she basically knew that her time was coming and decided to down from the Reds. Although she wasn't officially gone until 1999, Mark Schott left an indelible mark on baseball in the wrong way. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond Adu.